remote sensing is, is critical uh, uh, to uh, our, our management. There's no way that we have the resources to go out and look at every potential slide or rock fall or even permafrost uh, areas uh, without remote sensing. Um, because in some cases, if we just drive along the highway and look at it, we can't see the problem, it's much higher. So remote sensing uh, technologies uh, really give us an opportunity to look at those in a different way. Uh, further, remote sensing is capable of looking at it in ways that our eye can't see. Uh, we can use different uh, uh, frequency spectrums of, of light and, and look at things differently. Uh, we can take uh, that uh, site and, and, and either using LIDAR or, or uh, SAR or whatever technologies that we feel are appropriate to look at that and create 3D renderings of those and rotate them and look at them in, in, in multiple ways. Uh, we can take multiple images of that over time and try to understand how things are moving. Uh, that's something we just can't do by going out and taking quick snapshots. This is huge. I mean, uh, as when man first took a camera up on a balloon in the 1850s over Paris to make postcards, uh, you know, you notice the evolution of the camera evolving with the platform. And as we learned about manned aviation with fixed wing aircraft, no longer lighter than air aircraft, the camera had to evolve with that platform. And uh, we saw this evolution. It's still going on today, even with digital mapping cameras and manned aircraft. But the really cool thing is the cameras have gotten smaller, yet the aircraft have gotten smaller to the point where we don't even have to have a pilot on board. But a lot of these things are vexed by the same thing about the persistence issue, is unmanned aircraft have a limited duration, a limited amount of time they can actually remain airborne, unless it's something like a balloon, a tethered balloon where you can remain aloft for a long time. But a lot of the uh, battery-operated helicopters, the hexacopters, the quadrotors, even the octocopters, we may only get a 20-minute flight endurance out of them. That means 10 minutes out to make sure measurements, then has to come back home 